Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. I've got a 1v1 game here on Kosovo map for you. My opponent is using France and I'm using Russia. Um, I like this Kosovo map, I've mentioned that before. I'll just speed it up a little bit for this early phase. Early stage of the game, where we just uh, go for the oil capture. I'm uh, building training my two rifles. They'll escort the engineer, and the rest of the rifles trained will move straight into position. This rifleman guards the engineer from enemy units approaching from the back, just in case. All the rest of my rifles move into position to guard him, while one or two stay to guard the base. I usually take this route, not always, because that's the most contestable oil derrick, but in the centre. But um, I often find it's useful going this, to capturing that one, and then this one, which the enemy is often already captured. Just going that route, I find it some, usually works okay. You can take an oil derrick from the enemy and escape, because they don't have a scout vehicle at this point. They are just shot a couple of enemy scout rifles. <clears throat> and uh, the enemy engineer is going for this this oil derrick and then it looks like he's going on a, a mission around the map to wait till later I'm gathering my main force he's not sent his engineer around there he's loading it into the ranger by the looks of it yep yeah. I've sent a scout ahead just to warn me of any enemy units. And he'll be able to see my engineer, so he can snipe it with this lock. So easily done. So I'm destroying that oil derrick instead. Now I've lost my engineer. But he's free to continue capturing. He's got his engineer in there, in his ranger. Now he's moving out his first expansion. And I am as well. I've gone this way to the centre. And then it looks like I changed my mind. Yeah, I was in on terrible form. I'd, I hadn't been playing much when I had this game. I was really out of practice. I did even mention it to an opponent. Um, I'm sure I did before the game because you know I was. I hadn't been playing much, so I told you know I told my opponent not to expect a lot. Just been busy with other things and stuff. So I was well out of practice, which you sh you'll see from little mistakes like that. But he's scouting with this ranger. He needs to d get the engineer out of it because they're easily lost. And they are excellent scouting units, those rangers. Very good. Um, they're quick and cheap. And uh, they make good scouting units. Plus they can escort an engineer. Need to move these structures out because overlapping build radius is a waste. That's a good position. This oil, this one here, this MCV conyard being placed here is a good position because I can defend this and build defences with it. Plus, it protects the main base. My war factory and service depot were protected by that, so um, it's a good it's a good position for that one. But this one, he needs to go down here. These units are escorting it, but I had the idea to attack while he's expanding, and the timing was perfect, so I had those instincts were right. And he's got his ranger on guard duty, look, excellent idea. So, but these units are idle, and I shouldn't have left these units, that's my entire army, idle. And they did protect this MCV and scout for him while he's moving ahead, but the main area is all vulnerable, where my eco transfer is. And now that ranger's just run into them. He lost the engineer in that ranger. That's told him where my whole army is. So now he's free to send this in. He's bringing MCV support because he's a good player. And I've just 
you know, been caught off guard, look. Now I've sent my whole army back, and what I should do is send a small force here. They'd likely have been slaughtered, but at least half and half is turning back. It was just, they may as well have not been there all that time. I didn't like that, it was terrible. And now he's broken through, because there was no defenders of any worth, just a few small units. And he's broken through, and he's got access to, um, to attack my important structures. So there goes my construction yard. Free to attack my war factory now, and I don't have a second war factory, so it's very bad. Luckily, I've protected my service depot, and now he knows he's going to get wiped out, so he's moving away. But now I'm still doing wrong. Some of these units, a couple of tanks, and half those infantry, they need to go somewhere else and do something else because they're being wasted there. I need to, um, no, I'm doing no scouting, so I don't know where his most vulnerable areas are. So, you know, it's terrible. Terrible example of how you shouldn't let your opponent dictate the game. I've got a far larger army, but I'm just not using it. I've got plenty. I could, um, I could spare plenty of my units to attack somewhere else. And um, I'm not. And having the defender's advantage, I mean, I don't need as many as the enemy if he's attacking me. I've got base defences, production, and the defender's advantage. So I have more than enough units spare. Look, I'm just not using them properly. Just by doing the most basic game tactics and most basic build order, you would defeat me in this situation. Because I'm just letting the, my opponent control the game. Look, see, my whole army's coming back. It's just, a, yeah, it's a good example of how not to play. See, I've lost my main expansion there now. And uh, I lost a fair few ore trucks in that first attack, so it looks like I've got five. Five left. See, all these units being led around. Lost my APC finally. There's my conyard running again. So there's no building. That war factory I tried to build just then has been cancelled. Lot my army like a big slug being led around. I've still got a larger army than them, that's just, yeah, it's terrible. Now he's got a small force here, you see, attacking. Another ore truck under threat, another uh, refinery destroyed. His MCP is running for a change. I've got my war factory rebuilt. Should have destroyed the power plant. And this is where my main mistake, because I still had a chance. I've got a bigger army, and I ran, thinking he didn't have many units, I ran headlong into where he's focusing all his units. So I just basically, uh, this is me throwing away my own chance. And I could tell it was probably a mistake. But I kept pushing it. And he can see all the reinforcements as they're on the way because he's got new range from that power plant. So he knows exactly what's coming. He knows he's got this engagement. He's using that for a screening unit just to finish it. Now, with that base defense, it's over. You know, it was a close engagement, but, you know, I should have, shouldn't have done that. That was my only chance at a comeback. And now that's wiped my army. Very little left to speak of. And a crippled economy with two ore trucks. 
So yeah, that's how that game went. Shocking, shocking example of how to do badly. I built a second MCV. He's just clearing up the uh, the edges of the structures I've built. What's around my old expansion? Finishing it all off. I'm still building and. I'm running low on cash with only two ore trucks. And he's got a Tanya. And with the way my opponent didn't expand, because he didn't need to, but I could have easily like taken the map control and um, taken an equal amount to him and then taken control of this. I had a larger army, you know, and even with how badly I did, I still, um, I still had a chance near the end and I, I threw it all away by that ridiculous counter-attack. But, you know, you can't win them all. That's just how it goes. Tanya's working her way from one structure to another. expansion set up here that he knows about because he's got a, a rifle guard. I'm trying to get Tanya at this point. It's my only objective. So I thought I'd try and place a few riflemen out of view range. Still one left. And that rifleman got her. So yeah, that, that was the last thing. I wanted to do, he's got my expansion, look, it's over. It was over long ago, but I wanted to get Tanya. There we are. No hope of escape. <laughs> and that's it. Called. So there you go, that, that one really, really went against me that game, but like I say, I can't win them all, and I thought I'd show how you how not to play, because um, all those forces of mine that were idle here and turned back when my opponent attacked and things like that, I was just so vulnerable, and my opponent wasn't expanding aggressively. You know, they gave me all the chances in the world, and that when I did finally make a large counter-attack, I ran headlong into a... A killing zone basically so um, I'll just go through the basic graphs and stats yeah you see my army was large enough to have won that in won that game so I was I did very badly basically but my opponent did well fair game to them because their attacks were leading me around the battlefield so um, you know they beat me fair and square but there's the basics and information and uh, I hope my viewers enjoyed that one. It was um, it was a, a difficult game, that one. So I'll uh, I'll catch you all next time. And until next time, thank you and goodbye. Battle control terminated.